Hello guys, as I promised, I will be making a tutorial for how to install the fireworks mod from Minecraft 1.1. So in this mod, you will need to install the fireworks mod of course, and you'll also need to install mod loader, which will make it which will enable the mod. So firstly, these are the two links you'll need. And I will have these links in the description for you, so don't worry about that. So first, let's download mod loader. So this is the link I'll give you and then you just scroll down to where you see mod loader 1.1 then you can just click direct download just download that and it'll go right here and then you also want to download the fireworks mod so right here you go right here and download fireworks mod for 1.1 it'll take you to a media fire thing and then you can just download that straight there so this tutorial is going to be on a Mac only I'm not going to be reviewing this on a PC because I don't really know how to use a PC and I also don't have a PC of course and but if you do want to install this on a PC there are instructions here for Windows and there's also instructions over here so and there's probably videos out there that will help you with that too so don't worry but if you take when if you do go on Windows then you shouldn't watch this video because this is only for Mac but of course if you have a Mac then this is a great video for you okay so now that you have the downloads you want to you can close off of this because you won't need Chrome anymore. That was the only things you needed. And now you're going to go to go and then go to folder. And now this is going to allow you to go into your Minecraft folder, which has all your which has your bin folders that can enable mods and then your saves and all that kind of stuff, texture packs and so to get into this, if you have Lion, then you're going to need to go to go to folder and then type in this it's like a squiggly line and then a dash library dash application support dash minecraft and you can pause the video if you need to read that and then you just click go and it'll take you straight to the minecraft folder and inside of your minecraft folder you have mods your bin folder your stats um, texture packs saves and resources and all the stuff you need so what we are going to be focusing on is the bin folder so let's click on the bin folder and inside, you'll see this thing called Minecraft.jar. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to rename that. You're going to keep the whole name the same, except add at the end, dot .zip. Once you add dot .zip, it'll ask you if you want to use that, so just use it. And now you'll have a zip folder, or file, sorry. And so, double-click on that, and it'll unarchive it. And then, you get this folder called Minecraft.jar. But this time, it's a folder, and you can see everything inside of it. Now, the first thing you want to do when this happens is you want to type in the search bar meta and then click on minecraft.jar and you'll see this folder called meta-imp. You want to delete this. You don't want to have anything to do with it because it's just going to screw up your mod. It's not going to let you have mods and it's just going to mess up your Minecraft. So you don't want to have that. So just delete that right off the bat. So now you have this nice clean folder and you want to go to your downloads and you have your mod loader download and your fireworks download. But first let's start with the mod loader download. So when you click and when you unarchive it, you'll see this folder called mod loader and inside we'll have a bunch of files. Now all you're going to have to do is take all these files and drag them into here, into the minecraft.jar folder. Click apply all and replace them. So just replace everything that it asks you to replace. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to install the fireworks part. So unarchive the fireworks download and then you'll have this folder called fireworks for minecraft 1.1 and inside you'll see these folders contents in dot jar contents in dot minecraft so just like they say you want to put these contents into the dot jar and these contents into the dot minecraft so let's start with the dot jar go to that folder and then take all of this copy it and then paste it here or you could just drag it and they won't they won't ask you to replace anything so it's just as easy as that now for the second step, click on the contents.minecraft folder and you'll see two other folders. This one is the mods folder and this is the resource folder. So when you go into the mods folder, you want to go into your bin part and you'll see this new folder. Instead of bin, it's called mods. And then you just see that and then you want to drag your fireworks in, replace it, and that's all you have to do for that. Then for the resources part, now instead of the mods folder, you'll go to the resource folder right here 
and then just drag the mod and replace it. And that's all you have to do to install this. So then you can X out of that, X out of that, and then you can open up Minecraft. Let's open that up. And let's see. So whatever you do, don't don't force update this if you want to have the mod. To install this, to uninstall this mod, all you have to do is delete the the bin folder in your Minecraft fold in your Minecraft folder. All you have to do is delete the bin folder, put it in the trash, and then when you reopen Minecraft, it it refreshes everything but your saves, so you'll still have your save files, but it won't have your mod installed. So now let's go to single player, and here's a creative world. So let's see. Okay, and as you can see. I already have the fireworks block placed in my inventory. So obviously I have installed this correctly and it works fine. This is the fireworks mod. So that's how you install it. So now for the second part of this tutorial, I, I mentioned not I didn't mention all the things about this mod in the last video, so hopefully you'll keep watching this because there's a couple things I wanted to mention. So first of all, I haven't tried this out yet, but I want to see if redstone works with this. Cause that would make the mod a lot better. So let's see. Let's get a lever and some redstone. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay. So now we have replace the firework block. And let's make this full screen. Replace the firework block. And then let's have some redstone. And then a lever. Oh, what do you know? It works. Awesome. So that would be pretty unique. So you could like have like... Like, you could probably do this, and then, yeah, you could have all those there, and then a bunch of redstone, and then a lever here. I don't know why I broke it, but anyway. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Huh. Okay, maybe you have to go like this. Let's see. Whoops. Ah! Okay, let's just put, like, a block here. It doesn't have to be this, but let's try this this doesn't work then th there's definitely a way I know there's a way I, oh there we go oh that's so awesome Ooh. okay so yeah that's awesome so then the next part of this video I'll be showing you if it works in the nether and if it works in the end we are now in the nether and let's see if it works in the nether oh it does awesome fireworks work in the nether as well oh and that's really cool watch this so the, they actually bounce off the walls instead of just glitching in the wall they bounce off the walls so yeah this is a really well made mod i think lots of effort awesome so if it works in the nether then it probably works in the end i suppose and it even works in the end let's see watch this awesome and it looks really awesome in the end i think because without the light out oh. What the heck, the Enderman just, the Ender Dragon just hit me. If I'm on creative, is that supposed to happen? That's weird, I, I don't think I'm supposed to attack on creative. Huh. Anyway, so if you if you feel like you don't want to attack the Ender Dragon, and instead, oh god, oh god, no, no, no. And it, instead, you don't want to attack the Ender Dragon, but you want to entertain the Ender Dragon, then this is the best mod to do that with. And don't ask me if you want to do that, okay? That's just weird. Okay, so I'm going to end off the video here, guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting lots of mod reviews in the future as well as other things. And have a nice day.